What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. We are in the United States of America today. Whiskey 52. Airport name Goheen. Right, welcome back, welcome back. Welcome to Whiskey 52, Airport Goheen. I'm not gonna pretend like I know America or exactly where I am, but I know this much. We are about a couple of miles north of uh, Portland International Airport, and um, we're gonna stay the hell away from their airspace because they have a lot of restrictions around there. What we are gonna do is we're gonna stay around here, we're gonna do some touch and goes in this Cessna 182, practicing for some bush flying. As I said in the last video, um, bush plane. This is a bush plane. Why not do some bush flying in it? <coughs> And bush flying, I mean um, flying into the unknown nearly. Pilots could uh, land in random remote places uh, that they find the tiniest bit of uh, strip. So I intend to do some crazy stuff in this. I have one small flight planned for you guys. I have something in store for you guys that will um, interest you, I suppose. I'm not entirely sure, but hopefully it does. It will interest me um, after I get a feel for this plane. So today I'm going to get a feel for it um, in America and I feel real good in getting this plane up in the skies and we'll do some touch and, touch and goes, touch and goes and um, we'll leave it at that. We'll leave it at that. Um, reason for touch and going here is uh, the, the the actual scenery, the scenery is amazing and we have some one or two high mountains around us. Trees, it's absolutely covered with trees so um, I decided to go here and try and get a feel for this. Uh, it's a steep approach. We're going to come in from the left there where they're doing their fishing. Great, nice guys. Anyway, we're going to come over from the left and we're going to do some touch and go. So let's just jump into the cockpit flight deck, however you guys want to put it, and uh, start this plane. Right, welcome inside. Now, first thing that you guys might have noticed is that uh, the chocks and the tie downs have been taken off. This is because I've been around the aircraft uh, prior to doing this video and I have made sure that everything is above board before doing this flight. I didn't want you guys sitting around waiting on me to do some stupid walk around. Uh, sure, you guys have seen it all before, it's boring. I don't want you guys sitting around watching that. So, the f next thing that I am going to show you is the heading disc. Something that you guys might not have noticed or seen before is that this heading disc does slip. In real life, you get into the airplane and sometimes you've got to readjust it to your compass heading. Your compass heading is always the true heading that you're going to be heading on. Now, this slips a couple of degrees to the left or a couple of degrees to the right. I'm not entirely sure. I think it's because of the curvature of the Earth, something to do with that, and it just slips. So every so often, you might have to readjust it to that heading. Um, when I turn the plane on, we might get that difference. I'm not too sure as yet, but hopefully we'll get some sort of uh, difference when we start flying around. And um, I assure you, our disc will slip from our compass. And I hope, I hope so. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Let's get this plane started. So let's put that yoke back and uh, get these doors shut. We have fuel. We'll put both on we have our uh, cow flaps open cow flaps now small thing about the cow flaps what i have read is that we are going to have it open when we're on the ground and once we get on the runway we'll close it up and we'll get on our way and i believe those cow flaps does not open until we get back on the ground so uh let's let's prime and uh get everything started uh, never mind the biometrics. We're on zero zero, so we'll, we'll leave that at that today. We, as I said, we are we are simply just doing a couple of touch and goes just to get used to high terrain and all those other things. Uh, pitch trim. Hmm. Now it looks like I have a problem with one of my lights. That's new. I think I will have to address that situation before I carry on with this video. So, guys, I will catch you in a short while. Okay guys, back from the menders, that idiot back there, where is he? Yeah, that one back there, he put the wrong bulb in, that's what made it go. Alright, so um, <laughs> we have got that bulb replaced now, let's just double check on that. 
Excellent, excellent. It all works. So first things first, let's get the fuel pump on. Make sure our fuel. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Cow it, the cow flaps is open. Our trim is not set, but we'll sort that out very shortly. Let's just get this puppy up started. Um, so our parking brake is set. Um, we'll sling our fuel pumps on now. And that's good. Very loud. Ooh, should get my headsets in. Excellent, that should uh, calm things down very slightly. So next thing is, uh, maybe I should have um, a checklist in front of me. No, I don't really need one, don't really need one. Let's just uh, get that on our strobes, our beacon light, sorry, is on. And we'll crack this open slightly, throttle, and we'll turn over. Okay, not on the first try. Wait five seconds or so. Alright, let's give it another try. Excellent. Alright, making sure our pressure goes up within 30 seconds, up to the green, and it's going. So we can continue, we'll charge our battery and um, we'll idle under a thousand RPM idling a little bit high there get our uh, avionics on and we are almost ready we'll wait for this to warm up I'm not gonna let you guys wait for this to warm up um, I'm gonna continue um, letting it warm up this mixture out slightly and uh, get our throttle up now so don't choke the hell out of the engine. Okay, we get our nav lights and our taxi lights on. Our strobes can stay off and our landing can stay off for now. So, we're pretty much ready to rock and roll. Um, engine will warm up as we taxi out. It's going to be a very tight turnout of here, actually. Oh, this is going to be embarrassing. Oh, here we go. How good is my taxi? We're turning left out of here. Oh, crumbs. Oh, no, too far. Not that bad, not that bad so far. Alright. Oh, uh, it's all good. It's all good. Oh. Right, so we'll taxi out to runway and I'll catch you at the uh, top of the runway. Okay guys, I am at the top of the runway now. Look at those trees. Oh, what an obstacle. Jesus. This is going to be very interesting. Um, we're going to turn right here. Let's uh, set 10 degrees of flaps as we do so. We'll swing it all the way back round. Great. And... We'll stop here for a second. We will get our landing lights on. And we'll just make sure we are set on takeoff trim. 10 degrees of flaps. Mix the full rich. And off we go. Hopefully that is not too loud, which it probably is. It's alright, we are going to climb out of here at 82.90 this time. And retract our uh, flaps make some left turns climb up to about a thousand feet we'll hold a thousand looks great one thing I did forget to do is um, just set our heading 
to match our runway. So we're coming up to um, 1,000 now. Great stuff. Going to trim for a thousand and to do about a hundred knots, and we're going to turn out to the left as well. We'll do our downwind leg now. There's the airport down there, in between all of that. Doing the downwind leg now. As you can see, the uh, airport's off to an angle, just slightly. So if we... Uh, getting slightly high now. I'm going to pull that off. Look at those mountains over there. Oh, what a sight. That's my nemesis, that's uh, exactly where we are going to be going next, uh, through some crazy, crazy mountains. And look at that strip down there. I bet that's uh, somewhere that we can land, I suppose. Let's begin our turn now. On base leg. Climbing too high. can't see much from here at the moment so um, I'm gonna just uh, level off level off and we're gonna follow these uh, uh, pylons what is this I'm not entirely sure but we're gonna follow this all the way in I think I believe the uh, runway is just off to the right of this okay so uh, back at 1000 now we're gonna pull back. Let's make sure we're not going to plummet into those trees down there. Okay, so the runway's to the left of that. It's to the left of it all. You can see now. So if I make a left turn, we'll turn into final now. Back off the uh, power. And one thing I did forget, guys, was to close this. So, now that's being closed. We can carry on with this approach. Get our flaps in now, and flaps 20. Overshot that a little bit, but all is well, all is well. We'll go flaps full now, and we'll just trim for our descent into Goheen. Crazy. Looks good. Alright, so as I said, bush flying. This is all about the bush flying. This is practicing for our bush flying, coming in over mountain terrain, mountainous terrain, and uh, trees. Trees is not our friend. So if we can avoid all of this stuff as we come in here, we are preparing ourselves for um, something good in the future, I suppose. <laughs> Better pilots. Alright, so it's going to be a slightly steep approach. We are at, at idle now. Just under 70 knots. Just under 70 knots. And we're going to maintain that. We're going to do a touch and go. So as soon as we land, we're going to flaps to uh, 10. And, oof. Don't want to float. Don't want to float. Don't want to float. Don't want to float. And we just made it. We just made it out of there. That is crazy. So, um, pull just slightly short. We can't turn yet. We're full, full power. Wow. Nearly stalled as well. So, 
Let's get our left turn out. Wow, that was very tight. That was very, very tight. So maybe I need to uh, slow down on the next run. I will try and slow down our uh, 60, 60 knots or so. We'll si do 60 knots for our final. That was amazingly tight. Very, very tight. We won't do a long approach. We'll turn immediately and go down to our downwind as we're still climbing. I'm going to flaps up now. And we'll head on our downwind leg. As I said, we are going to do a 60 knot approach speed this time. <laughs> that seemed a little bit crazy. So um, we'll do another approach after this. We'll do another approach. Seemed, things seem to be running past uh, very, very quickly. So we'll slow down. And uh, carry our climb. Carry on our climb. Carry on our climb. We've got to do things right. We don't want to mess up when we do bush flying. Flying into mountainous terrain. So approaching 1,000 feet now. And um, we're going to level off. We're doing 100 knots. Gonna get a little bit more room on this approach. I believe it's it's a tiny little runway on that final approach there. It's messed up. Let's uh, turn in now. That should be good enough. Yep, that should be good. And what we'll do is we'll go straight in for our final approach. So we'll turn straight in for our final. I'm trying to crack that speed down. And we'll get those flaps out. 20 degrees of flaps. Make sure our flaps are coming down. They are. They are. But we are not. So, let's start our descent down into the airport once again. Okay. Not lined up great, but our speed is a little bit better. Airport's just off to our right there, as you can probably see. Let's just uh, slow down. Still travelling quite fast there. 18 knots. Let's drop the flaps in. Full flaps now. And we are going to trim for a slower approach speed. But still we're doing about 17 knots. It's really hard to um, slow down at that final because we're trying to avoid that. All those wires over there. Crazy, crazy. Good preparation, good preparation, I suppose. Try and get those back wheels down first. He's floating quite a lot. Oh! Oh, that was heavy. Oh my gosh. Wow. Um, guys, I think I'm going to end it there. You have been excellent. My name is Jay Flysim and I will see you guys later.